And welcome everyone to Scouts of Entertainment Napoleon Total War 3 replay. Today's a nice 3v3 on the map Italy 6B. Today's replay is posted on the Napoleon Discord by the Nate Devourer. And before we get started, if you'd like to send me to other Napoleon Total War 3 replays, then our links at the bottom of your screen and also in the description below. There's also a PayPal option, Subscribestar, Patreon, and Stream as a nation link if you'd like to support my work. But if those aren't options for you, then please remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell for notifications and leave your own thoughts about the battle in the comment section below. And with that, let's get in with the replay. So the players on the red team today are Gorde, Chainmail and the Nate Devourer. On the blue team, we have Moonchild, Almarente Brown and Colonel Kinky Penata. Now on the screen here we'll put up the red team's factions, which is Reich, Helder Expedition and Russia 1799. On the blue team, we have three Italy 1796 to 1800 armies and looks like we're always off for an engagement so we'll do a small cut here and come back once the first contact begins all right guys we got Helder and Rossi getting pretty close this sort of tiptoeing with the French oh they're going straight in Helder's backing them up Okay, they broke the Rossier unit. French unit's also broken. First battle goes to the red team. We've got a lot of cavs stationed over here. And France is building up their cav as well. We'll keep an eye out for a big engagement later. We've got Reich's forces way out there on the left, separate from his allies. We don't see any infantry just yet, so we don't know where all the French armies are, so we'll come back shortly. Oh, we've got another engagement here. It's a fast forward engagement, but we're back just in time. Again, Rossia and Helda double teaming effectively against the French. Rossia's around just getting a little bit low. Not as low as France. Helder sending in another unit. And that finished him off. Alright, good for them. Oh, we had another engagement here between Reich and France, but it looks like French France was victorious, sorry. We've got the French army approaching. Now what's interesting is that I'm only seeing French infantry on this side of the map. None where Reich is. Reich did send his cavalry to, to scout the four pointer in the left hand corner there. Doesn't look like anyone's in it. It also doesn't look like anyone's really paying attention to the points on this field. There's two four pointers and three one pointers. It looks like they're just focused on killing each other right now. Which should be interesting. Now, what's dangerous here is that Helder is all by himself over here. We've got Rossier nearby, trying to link up with him. But the French armies, if we just do an eagle shot here could swamp and destroy Helder before Rossi even sets up. And Reich is way off, he can't help Helder at all. So the question is, can Helder hold out until Rossi first arrives? And then can both of them hold out until Reich arrives? Because it doesn't look like there's any French army over there with Reich right now. Looks like Rossi was trying to do something here. He charged by, oh, he's going for the artillery. There is French cab nearby. It's being activated. We'll get to them in time. 
And the answer is no. Oh, oh they wiped them out. They didn't unnumber. See, that's the problem there, guys. You gotta remember to unnumber your artillery before the enemy cap charges into it. Otherwise, it'll collapse in the blink of an eye, just like that. Now, had he unnumbered, I think maybe he could have rescued his artillery crew. Maybe. It's like 50 50 there. But to leave him unnumbered like that, we'll almost certainly see them destroyed. But, that sacrifice was worth it. Now France is moving up. Hell design's a little bit unorganized right here. We've got two French armies here and they're moving pretty much in sync together. Got large gaps here in hell design. A little bit nervous for him. Now, Rock has got to stop playing around. He's got to get over here and help his teammates out. Because now it's like three on two. Uh, we've just got France pursuing Helder. The uh, units just trying to keep the cavalry at bay for now. And cavalry's got to be deep in the Helder player's mind. He's got some ground to fall back, but Helder can't fall back too far, otherwise he leaves his ally vulnerable to be outflanked. Okay, looks like the French team have abandoned that idea to try and double team or triple team Helder. Rossi has arrived and it's forced to it's forced one of the French players to fall back. This could be the third French army coming in. So now the red team's really up against it here. If the French are aggressive, they could overwhelm the red team before Held Reich even arrives, sorry. And we've got some artillery up here. Two six pounders. Now we also have a twelve pounder over here too. Although it's guarded pretty well by some infantry units and cavalry. So not an easy target there for the French. Getting closer. There you go, they're not firing. Here we go. Nice first volley there. Trace around everywhere. This unit here seems to be pretty vulnerable. Its morale is very shaky. It's only lost about 14 men. Or oh, 12 men, my bad. I can't count. Oh, big hit there. Right, doing any guy. Okay, Rossi is, can easily be outflanked here. I don't know why France isn't pressing his advantage. Rossi does have reinforcements, but he's not moving them, and they're pretty far back. You can easily outflank the red team here. Fold them up. And there's also a risk here that Helder's army could be divided in two. France is, if France moves in quickly, he can cut off maybe all these units here. And finish them off with all the cab they've got over there. I and mean, yeah, Helder does have his force really spread out here. I'm seeing a lot of vulnerabilities.
Okay, Rox is on his way. Rossi has sustained some casualties, not too bad. A bit of an artillery strike there. Alright, so looking at the casualty count, not too bad. Skirmish is taking a beating. Oh no, red team holding up pretty well. Blue team not being too aggressive here, and they probably should be. I mean, their opponents are pretty disorganized here with their line. So I held the setting up some men to help strengthen Rossi's own line there. Well, and protect his artillery as well. Again, some good strikes there. And I think, yes, indeed, the blue team just took out the horse carrying unit for this artillery piece. You don't see that every day. Okay, it looks like France is charging. I don't think he sees the stakes. He's still charging. He's gonna hit him. Okay, the artillery crew ran away there. Infantry is moving in to cover them. We got, I think, held the cab moving in. Head off the French. Okay, so they blunted the French charge and also took out three units. And Reich is getting closer now. The blue team had an advantage, but I think they just threw it away. Rossi appears to be outnumbered here, but he's doing alright. Oh, that continues to fall back, but he can't fall back much further. Alright. France's line looking pretty strong, pretty good. I'm seeing a lot of gaps here in the red team's line. Helder needs to return to the front. They're falling way too far back. Reich is still a little ways out, but he's getting closer. His presence has drawn some French troops away, which has really enabled Rossi to probably survive and last longer. The lines are holding. You gotta admire the French for continuing with the move forward. That artillery is really in their face. We've got one cannon doing a really strange thing here. Okay, they, they just lost their second artillery horse unit, so they can't they can't go anywhere here. They're stuck. They hold this position. And that's it. Looks like they're trying to target the general's unit. They're taking out three horses so far. Wow, 
One more. We got two units here on three. We got some grenadiers moving up. These rockers moving in really slow here. But these yellows, for their to their credit, are holding on strong. Gotta watch it, they almost ran to stakes again. We got cavalry coming in, and we had infantry going in for a charge. Oh, they abandoned that charge. Indecision. Are holding on. Brock is almost here and he cannot flank the French if he moves in quickly. We got two eight pounders here that could be an issue for him. We also have two five pounders here for Reich and also two more five pounders. Good strike there from the French artillery. Okay, Reich's artillery is tithing the cab here. Getting some kills. France have got to learn from their mistakes and stop running into those spikes. Nah. I think they'll get to the artillery crew. It looks like they got them. They just got. Oh, they just broke. The rest of his general here is in danger of being killed or broken. Here comes the hell of a response. It's a mass retreat! So how the keeps falling back, looks like they're trying, trying to fall back to the town there. He's sending over some units to help out with his team's right flank. Reich's moving in. But here comes the French calf. Ross here trying to form a square. Doesn't feel like it was a, a very good square. You go with this grenade unit could fire. They have the cab dead to rights. Oh, Rossi just charged in. And they've almost done it. Yes, they've done it. They've taken out that artillery from, from the French. They've destroyed that eight pounder unit. I think Reich can move in some of these units now that he has out here. I mean, he's destroyed the artillery after all. Oh, so we've got more movement on this front. How this thing enforces. We got infantry and we got cavalry in the distance. Some Dragini. Where are they off to? Oh, so they're going to outflank these guys here. I broke him. Okay, France is pursuing them. Helder and Rossi are falling back. Okay, Helder just turned around.
French cab exposed to the infantry. Taking too long to fire. Alright, it seems like France's charge was not only blunted but broken. And now they're being forced back. Their right flank's in full retreat. Their left flank probably has to pull back soon. Or at least reinforce the center. We've got four units over here just facing up against some healthy units. The infantry is really struggling, especially with the arrival of Reich, who is causing problems on their on their own right flank. Rossi is pressing with Reich, and they're trying to sandwich the French units from either side. Good kills, good kills. There's some charging there. Oh, there we go. France won that one. We've got plenty of right cavalry over here. Oh, they broke each other. We got some elite cab, some Kurosari. I'm just gonna go with that. I have been working on pronouncing my French units, but I'm not comfortable to confidently say them just yet. I've been looking at some Google translations. So Rossia and Helder have not moved forward and the battle has shifted. What have we got here? We've got Helder thinking about going after the general. France sent in a unit that occupied their attention. It's two against one here. Rock has turned around, targeted one of the French generals. You'd think you'd go after the general, wouldn't you? Okay, that's held a cab. There's the general, he's gone down. That was Colonel Kinky's general. Good for the French cab, they have a small victory over here. We've got elite right cab coming in. Rossi, oh, this broke all those units there. That's a lot of horses. But we've got Rossi pursuing them, making sure they kill enough so they don't come back and reform. That's why they're pursuing them right now. We have killed their general, sir. Oh, now another general fallen. Must have got caught up in that rumble there. Okay, Iraq has pretty much swept aside all the French forces here. Held in Russia, facing their enemy. We've got plenty of right cab that can outflank them and sweep around from behind. Uh, that's just um, some Assars. We got cab coming in to kill them, pretty much. To put it bluntly, they broke them. Got some eight pounders here. Two French units coming in. 
And we got some dragoons from Reich. More cab coming in. Oh, they're pretty cool. But they form square and that's blunted that charge. Reich has two elite cab units in his army. Okay, they're broken. Reich pursued him for a little bit, but then stopped. Okay, we got Helder. Charging from behind. While the infantry moves up. Oh, they're going in for a bayonet charge. Oh, good infantry, good cavalry and infantry charge there. Nicely timed. Smashed him. The morale of the French alliance is wavering, they're on the ropes. We got some cab coming in. That wasn't a good charge. Don't think he meant to do that. Get some friendly fire there for sure. Well, the cabs just melting away under that fire. Looks like the French are trying to retreat. Held are heading them off. French units over here still alive? Yeah, they're they're on their last legs though. They're being overwhelmed. Good artillery hit this unit is being slain. And we've got the French, what seems to be mounting a last ditch stand here. We've got some cav, not too much. That's the last general, I think, still alive. And this unit can't form a square. Reinforcements finishing off the French Cav. France standing tall to the end. Oh, French turning tail. He's not broken yet. Alright, now he is. But I think the friend, that general got away. He's in his broken, but he survived. Now we got the France being harassed here. They're forming square all the time. They're trying to get into the artillery they got there. But they broke. Oh, they ended up breaking it anyway, just at the end, so mission accomplished. So we had a French unit reform. Charles Jennings did reform after all. Well, these guys are going for a bayonet charge. For glory!
I don't know any of them will be alive by the time they clear the hill. The general must be dead. I've seen that entire unit go down. I think that's it, guys. Don't see any other units on the field. Oh, we got one left. That didn't work out too well for him. That's it, victory! So well done to the red team, Gorda, Chaimel, and the Nate Devourer on their victory. Gorda getting 825 kills, Chaimel 1405, the Nate Devourer 806. Moonchild, unlucky there for the French team. Moonchild getting 555 kills, Almirante Brown 767, and Colonel Kinky Penatia 534. Looking at the kill counts. Best performers were the Dragoons on 106. And we have some Grenadiers, 116. And some Mike Hale, 107. It's a specialty unit, it would seem. And the rest of them did pretty much poor to not bad. Poor to good. Alrighty. Thank you to the Nate Devourer for posting the replay on the Discord. This is Gans of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.